Hello and welcome back to another episode of I don't know what I'm making. I was trying out some art, but for me, the results have not been satisfactory. Hmm, so why not do it my way? I want to make something that captures a photo and then draws it on any surface instantly. For this, I'll start by making a 2-axis slider. Due to the limitation of resources I have at home, I'll be using a few servos, pulleys and strings. Once the slider is done, I'll get it programmed and calibrated. Hmm, the slider seems to be working pretty fine. Let's hook up the Raspberry Pi and get cracking. There seems to be a problem I noticed with the slider. I'm not able to achieve complete range of the servos, so I'll have to make the base fat. Perfect. Let's get it calibrated. But wait, what do you mean by calibration? Can't we just get printing right away? Well, we can, but I'm afraid the results might be unpredictable. Since the pulleys and strings are not completely rigid, they can affect the output of the slider. So we must find the map between the output and the servo input. Here's the rig I made for calibration. It's using my phone camera over DroidCam for visual calibration of the slider. So what I'm doing is calibrating the phone camera then doing a perspective warp to align the surface. Next, I find the pixel to millimeter ratio from the 1 cm square 6 x 9 chessboard, which is used to calculate the real world 2D coordinates of any point from the camera. Sweet! Now I need to track the movements of the slider for every input angle of the servos. For this, I segmented out a blue tracker and now I'm able to get its real world 2D coordinates. I wrote a script to set the origin at servo 0, fix any zero errors, both angular and actual, and then track the slider for every step till 180 degrees. Here I'm running a 10 step calibration which should be good enough for the purpose. Here's a plot of the slider displacement versus the servo angle input. You can see that the graph isn't linear due to the various non-rigid components in the system. Now I can place the slider at any position in real world millimeters right away. Spicy! Let's get this baby a pen and start sketching. I extended the frame and attached another servo with a pen. Wow, this looks really familiar. Who's that Pokemon? I need to replace the sketch pen for more precise printing. So this mechanism with a pen should work better. We'll see once we try it out. Baby, 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 baby. 
Alright, I noticed that the vibrations in the slider is killing the print quality. Upon searching up the issue, I found that the PWM used by RPI GPIO library is software generated and is not stable. So I switched to PyGPIO which provides a hardware driven PWM signal and now the vibrations are totally gone. The new prints look pretty precise, so the printer is complete. The next step would be to use the Pi camera to capture an image, extract its edges and print it. This is an easy part so I'll stop the project here for now and continue it later. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more videos, comment out your thoughts and of course like it, I mean I, I do that too.